Hi everyone, this is Teacher Jules once again and for today's lesson, we're going to talk about conversion of angles. But before that one, let us try to have a quick review of the previous lessons that we had. So previously, we discussed what is an angle, the units in measuring angles, the types of angles based on magnitude, relationship, and notation. And in this video, our topic is about conversion of angles. Particularly in this lesson, you are expected to convert angles from degrees to, to radian, from radian to degrees, and from degree to degree, minute, and second. In here, you will be needing formulas in order to convert the measures of angles. Now, if the given is expressed in degrees and you are being asked to convert it to the radian, the formula is the product of the given angle in degrees and pi over 180 degrees. For example, we are going to convert 15 degrees to radian. Now, in the example, the given is 15 degrees. To convert it into radian, Multiply 15 by pi over 180 degrees. Now, we need to express 15 and 180 in the simplest form. In doing this, divide both of them with their greatest common factor or the GCF. In finding for the GCF, I have attached another video here for your reference. Since the GCF of 15 and 180 is 15, we need to divide them. 15 divided by 15 is 1, 180 divided by 15 is 12, and we have now pi over 12. Therefore, 15 degrees is equal to pi over 12. Let us have another example. For example, the given is 60 degrees. To convert it into radian, multiply 60 by pi over 180 degrees. We need to express 60 and 180 in the simplest form, and in doing this, divide both of them with their greatest common factor or the GCF. And since the GCF of 60 and 180 is 60, we are now ready to divide. 60 divided by 60 is 1, 180 divided by 60 is 3, and we have now pi over 3. Therefore, 60 degrees is equal to pi over 3. And now, if the given angle is expressed in radian and you are being asked to convert it to degree measure, the formula is the product of the given angle in radian and 180 over pi. For example, we are going to convert 8 pi over 3 to degrees. To convert it to degrees, multiply 8 pi over 3 by 180 over pi. Pi divided by pi is equal to 1, or simply cancel it out. And 180 divided by 3 is equal to 60. So what was left now is 8 times 60 and 8 times 60 is equal to 480 degrees therefore 8 pi over 3 is equal to 480 degrees let us have another example given here is 5 pi over 12 to convert it to degrees multiply 5 pi over 12 by 180 degrees over pi Pi divided by pi is 1 or simply cancel them out. And 180 divided by 12 is equal to 15. So what was left is 5 times 15 degrees. And 5 times 15 degrees is equal to 75 degrees. Therefore, 5 pi over 12 is equal to 75 degrees. And now we are going to convert angles from degrees to degree, minute, second, or the DMS. Angles in degrees with decimal part can be converted to its degree, minute, second, or the DMS equivalent. The degree part of the DMS equivalent 
will just be the integral part of the original angle in degrees. The minute part will be calculated by the formula 60 times the decimal part of the angle in degrees. And the second part will be calculated by the formula 60 times the decimal part of the minute. For example, we are going to convert 54.574 degrees to its degree minute second equivalent. Here, we will compute for the value of the minute and second since the value for degree is automatically the integral part of 54.574, that is 54. Next, to compute for the minute, the formula is 60 times the decimal part of the given angle. Since the decimal part of 54.574 is 0.574, we have 60 times 0.574 is equal to 34.44. Next is to compute for the second. To compute for the second, multiply 60 by the decimal part of the minute, which is 0.44. So we have here now 60 times 0.44 is equal to 26.4. Now whatever value you get in the minute and second, just consider the integral part by rounding it to the nearest unit digit. Thus, 54.574 degrees is equal to 54 degrees, 34 minutes, and 26 seconds. Another example, we have here 128.97 degrees. Again, convert it to degree minute seconds equivalent. So here, we will compute for the value of the minute and seconds since the value for degree is automatically the integral part of 128.97 and that is 128. Next, to compute for the minute, the formula is 60 times the decimal part of the given angle. Since the decimal part of 128.97 is 0.97, we have 60 times 0.97 is equal to 58.2. Next, compute for the second. Again, multiply 60 by the decimal part of the minute, which is 0.2. 60 times 0.2 is equal to 12. Therefore, 128.97 degree is equal to 128 degrees, 58 minutes, and 12 seconds. Now we have here three items for the practice test and feel free to answer it and if you want to do so, just pause this video and we are going to check it together after this. And now compare your answers. We have here for number 1, 30 degrees is equal to pi over 6 radian. Number 2, pi over 4 is equal to 45 degrees. And 120.7 degrees is equal to 120 degrees and 42 minutes. And for you to know what to do next, kindly read the description below.